Hello everybody and welcome to Expressions Craft Studio. I don't know about you, but I use a Cricut and I have been having a lot of problems with my uh, design space application. So I've been, I know they've done updates and I have gotten my update, my most recent update. And then I've gotten an additional update, but um, that still wasn't solving my problem. So I spent about three hours on the phone yesterday, which was uh, talked to a couple different people. Um, the first person helped me probably the biggest because she was actually able to solve one of my problems yesterday, which was how slow my system was moving and how it wasn't reloading everything properly and I couldn't find things properly. Uh, projects that I had saved would disappear or part of the project would come back, but not the last uh, most current save would come back. So it was really, really, really odd. And what she ended up doing with me after talking to some um, additional, uh, more knowledgeable, knowledgeable people at Cricut was she showed me how to go into my f uh, Cricut users folder and delete all my files. And this, these are files that aren't important, according to her. They don't affect anything. It's just basically a, appears to be a storage place for all of the activity that happens while you're in design space. Um, and as it turned out, I had 201,717 files that needed to be deleted. And that was the most she had ever seen. Uh, we were both quite astonished. I'm working off of a newer laptop and um, up until the last year or two, I really wasn't using Design Space that much because I've had so many issues with it over the years. When And don't get me wrong, when it works, it works great. I just happen to do a lot of maybe more advanced type stuff or more um, larger type projects. And so I just continue to have a lot of problems with it. Now this new update is supposed to help fix some of that. Um, but anyways, I'm going to show you what she showed me yesterday. Now, you do this at your own risk, but I can tell you, because I was very trepidatious about it myself, and I even told her, I said, if this goes bad, this is going to get ugly. <laughs> um, because I have done a lot of work creating files and projects, and I didn't want them all to disappear. And they didn't appear to disappear. So I'm going to show you what she did. But again, do this at your own risk. If you're uncomfortable doing it, by all means, call someone at Cricut. Um, I will tell you that most of their frontline people don't know this stuff. Um, their help desk support, and I can tell you from working in IT for years, and my husband who currently still works in IT, help desks are usually given a script to follow, which means they just troubleshoot down that script. They just go line after line after line. Even if you've already done those things, they'll ask you to do them again. Um, Pitney Bowes is the same way. I used to have to deal with them all the time. So um, it can be a little frustrating, especially if you're not familiar with the terminology and don't know, don't understand exactly how things work. Um, you can, it can feel like you're speaking two different languages. So I'm going to show you what I do. Now, this is a Windows laptop. Uh, I don't own a Mac, so I cannot tell you how to do it on a Mac. I'm sorry. Uh, um, what she had me do was open my Windows File Explorer. And once we got into that, we went to look at my main hard drive, which in my case is C, and that will be the case for most people. And... Once we clicked on the C drive, Windows SSD is what mine is called. Yours may be called something different, but it's going to be your main drive that's going to have most of your applications and stuff on it. And then we went over to Users, which you will see it says Users. Now, in my case, my husband occasionally uses my laptop, um, so we have multiple users. There's all users. There's a default user. Uh, there's, you know, my husband, Don, and then there's me, George. So since I'm the one who works in design space, he's never touched it. We're going to go into George. And you can see dot cricket design dash space folder right at the top of the list. So I'm going to double click on that. And we're going to go into local data. 
and there's this file, 1156065. Now, yours may have a completely different number or name on it. And then there's this last logged in user. And that, all that is, is it just shows you when you last logged in. Uh, in my case, it was at 648 last night. But in this is the, the folder that had over 201,000 files in it. So you got uh, this folder right here and deleted the folder. Um, and that sped me up. It made my projects load properly. It was amazing. This is how you can do that. You would just click on it and you would just hit delete. And because I opened it, it's not going to let me. But normally it would just let you delete that. It'll let me delete this one. So um, that's all you do. Just click on it and hit your delete key and it should let you. You can right click to find delete or you can just hit your delete button, whichever works for you. Um, but if your system is going really slow, again, it's not working because I just opened it probably. But if your system is moving really slow, that is how you would do that. And that will speed you back up and you shouldn't have any problems. But again, do this at your own risk. I was told there wasn't any problems. I haven't discovered any problems yet. Um, and you can certainly get on the line and call Cricut customer support at any time and ask them about it. But this is, you know, this is was a fix for me. It worked great as far as I could tell. And hopefully if you're having the same kind of issue, it will work for you as well. So thank you for listening. Hope this is helpful for you. If it is, please uh, give me a like and a thumbs up. That would be great. And uh, until next time, I'm going to keep searching for tips and tricks to bring you. Um, I've already got a couple in mind, like installing fonts. Not everybody knows how to do that. So that's hopefully what will be next.